Good morning. Pastor Larry Hall, Faith Baptist Church, Greenfield, Indiana. Just wanted to welcome you to our website. Just wanted to talk a little bit about maybe what God has us doing this Sunday, um, uh, April the 29th. We've been going through 1 Samuel, if you've been with us at all, and uh, you know we've been going through there and, and looking at the early life of Saul. And Saul's reign is pretty much over. I mean, he's got a few more meager years where he'll be miserable. The Lord has chosen a man after his own heart, a young shepherd boy by the name of David from Bethlehem, uh, to, to take over for Saul. We know that David does eventually take over, but before David can take over, he has to be groomed by God and even by Saul uh, to become the king. And the Bible says that after David was anointed that the Spirit of the Lord came upon him and, and was with him. And But then in the next verse in 1 Samuel 16, it says that the Spirit of the Lord departed uh, from Saul, and that God gave Saul an evil spirit. And uh, this Sunday, uh, I'd like to look at this this simple fact that uh, uh, this evil spirit that's from God, uh, you might think that uh, we could blame God for making someone in a bad mood, but what I want us to look at this Sunday is what got Saul to the point, uh, the decisions that brought Saul to the point to where he no longer had the Spirit of the Lord to give him peace, to give him joy. The Bible says in the New Testament in Galatians chapter 5 that the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, goodness, gentleness, uh, faith, meekness, temperance. Um, these are the things that come from the fruit of the Spirit. These are the things that come from uh, having the, the, the Spirit of God uh, that, that flourishes in your life. When you have these nine attributes of the fruit of the Spirit, it's hard to be in a bad mood. But I think you'll agree that a lot of us will allow the situations in our life and allow the circumstances of our life to cause us to dwell on something that's not as good as the fruit of the Spirit, that's not as good as the Word of God. You know, the Bible says that the God is a Spirit, and those that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. And when we don't have the spirit and we don't have the truth, then our worship is something that we also will not have, not the right kind of worship. I mean, yeah, you can sing songs and and, and you can lift your hands and, and you can go through the motions, but your heart won't have the worship that God deserves and that you need. We need to be able to worship God. Saul was unable to worship God. Thank God for the people that were in his life that recognized this evil spirit, recognized that Saul was dwelling on the bad things that had happened in his life and allowing that to cause him to be in a foul mood. And they said, maybe if we got someone that could play really good music and he would come and play this music and it would help our king. Thank God for the people that encouraged Saul to seek someone out. And thank God that David was that man that was able to come and allow the Holy Spirit to take over that evil spirit and allow Saul to have some calm and some peace in the last years of his life. Won't you join us this Sunday and let's come and, and see if we can't restore your worship. This is the friendliest church in Hancock County. And if you don't agree with me, I'd ask you to come and tell me to my face. And so we can prove to you that we are. We just want you to find a home here. Won't you come visit with us? Have a good day and God bless.